Okay, number 11 from the October 2019 P1 International A-Level paper. It says a curve has equation y equals f of x. The point P432 over 3 lies on the curve. Given that f double dash x equals 4 over root x minus 3. Let me just rewrite that in a way it's more friendly for us if we have to integrate that or differentiate it, integrate it, I guess. 4x power minus a half minus 3 and f dash of x means the first differential of x equals 5 at p so this is the second differential of the function f of x which we don't have the function here but we know the second differential and we know that the value at p of f dash of x equals 5 so at p we know that's when x equals 4 you can see that from the point p okay so when x equals 4 the first differential the gradient function is equal to 5 and the algebraic expression for the second differential is 4 over root x minus 3. Okay, so now, first of all it says part A is only worth two marks. It says find the equation of the tangent to the curve at P, writing your answer in the form y equals mx plus c, where m and c are constants to be found. Okay, so now, y, basically we need to find the equation of a straight line. Okay, y equals mx, in the form y equals mx plus c. To find the equation of a straight line, we need two things. One of the things we need is the gradient of the line, which we're told is equal to 5. So we know that from the question. We know the gradient is equal to 5 at P. Okay, the gradient of the function f at five equals 5 at P. So the gradient of the tangent at P is going to be 5, because the gradient of the tangent is the same as the gradient of the curve at that particular point that it's the tangent to the curve at. Now, um, we need to know a point on the line, which we do as well, because the point P is where the tangent is on the curve. So this is also, this is a point on the line, and this is the uh, gradient of the line. So we can say y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Or if you want to use y equals mx plus c if you wish, same thing. So you have y minus 32 over 3 equals m, which is 5, times x minus 4. So you have y minus 32 over 3 is equal to 5x minus 20. So y is equal to 5x minus 20 plus 32 over 3. 32 over 3. So we have to simplify that. So this is like minus 60 over 3 plus 32 over 3, which gives us minus 28 over 3. So y is equal to 5x minus 28 over 3. We can verify that just in case you have um, 32 minus 60 equals minus 28. Yes, that's right. So there we have the answer to part A. Okay, worth two marks. Everything was given. We had the point, we had the gradient, we had to just stick it to this equation. You just have to understand that this is the gradient of the tangent at P, and this is the point P which is on the tangent. Okay, so that's part A, pretty simple. Two marks. Uh, now for part B. Okay, part B, it says find f of x. So we worked out, what did we work out here? Um, nothing really that we need. Okay, so now we got to find what f of x is. So to find f of x, we have to basically integrate this function to give us f, to find out what f dash of x is. Okay, to find out the algebraic expression of f dash of x. So if we realize that f dash of x is going to be the integral of f double dash of x with respect to x. So if we integrate that, okay, so you have the integral of 4x to the power of minus a half minus 3 with respect to x. Okay, so that's going to give us, you have to add 1 to the power, so you have 4x to the power of a half over a half minus 3x, and don't forget the plus c, very important, especially in a question like this. Don't forget the, the plus c. So this is f dash of x. Okay, so f dash of x, if we simplify that a little bit, that's going to be 4 divided by half, which is 8, so you have 8x to the power of a half minus 3x plus c. Now what we know is f dash of x equals 5 at p, which is when x equals 4. So I can use that information to find what this c is. Okay, so I know that when x is equal to 4, f dash of x is equal to 5. 
Okay, so we can say 5 is equal to 8. Now, x to the power of half means the square root of x. So, there's the square root of 4 minus 3 times 4 plus c. So, 5 is equal to 8 times 2, which is 16, minus, let me simplify that, 8 times root 4, which is 16, minus 12 plus c. So, 5 is equal to 4 plus c. So, c is equal to 5 minus 4, which is 1. So, therefore, we found what f dash of x is f dash of x is equal to 8x to the power of a half minus 3x plus 1. Okay, that's the equation f dash of x. But we're asked to find what? We're asked to find um, f of x. So f of x, therefore, is going to equal the integral of f dash of x. Okay, so we know what f dash of x is in its totality. It's 8x to the power of a half minus 3x plus 1. So we've got to integrate that with respect to x. Did I remember to write that there? I did, yes, okay. Now, so this is going to equal 8x to the power of 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2 minus 3x squared over 2 plus x and again plus another c. Okay, this c is different from the other c. So we could, if you want to make it clear that it's different, you can call it anything else. You can call it B, you can call it K. Let me just call it K. Okay, it's a constant of integration. All right, so I've called it K in this case to, to make it different from this C over there. Um, so that, if you simplify it, is going to be 8 times 2 over 3, which is 16 over 3. Remember, when you're dividing by a fraction, you're multiplying by its reciprocal. Um, minus, oh, that's X to the power of 3 over 2 x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 3x squared over 2 plus x plus k. So that's what f, f of x is, but we can't leave it like this. We have to find what that k is. Okay, we have to find what that k is. 16 over 3, x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 3x squared over 2 plus x plus k. We need to find out what that k is. Now, how are we going to find what that k is? Well, we know a value of x and y which satisfies the equation of the curve because p lies on the curve. So when x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 32 over 3, this equation will be satisfied. Now I know I'm supposed to go on to the next page. I'm just going to do this so I have everything here already. But really you should go to the next page. But p is equal to 4 and 32 over 3. So let me just confirm that in case I didn't copy down right. Yes, it is. Okay. Now, so I know that this is the x value and this is the y value of the point P and that will satisfy the equation of this curve. So if I substitute instead of y, 32 over 3, and instead of x, 4, so I have 16 over 3 times. Now remember, the power of 3 over 2 means um, the square root of the thing cubed. So this is the square root of 4 cubed. Okay, minus 3 times 4 squared over 2 plus 4 plus k. So if I can simplify this, I'll be able to find what k is. So you've got 32 over 3 equals 16 over 3 times, this is the square root of 2, which is, uh, sorry, the square root of 4, which is 2, 2 cubed, which is 8. So this is 16 over 3 times 8 minus, and you're going to have 3 times 16 over 2, okay, which is going to be 3 times 8, which is 24 plus 4, plus k. So your answer for this is going to be, let's just do this. You've got 16 times 8. We can just do this in one step, actually, but I'll just do it like this. 16 times 8 over 3 minus 24, whoops, minus 24 plus 4 which we know is minus 20 anyway, 68 over 3. So you have 32, oops, 32 over 3 is equal to 68 over 3 plus k. Okay, just let, uh, was that right? 68 over 3, yes. So k is going to be 32 over 3 minus 68 over 3. Okay, so um, just 32 minus 68, which gives us 
minus 36. So k is minus 36 over 3, which gives us minus 12. So don't forget to write our answer out because our answer is saying find f of x. We found what k is. So final answer should be f of x equals, I'm going to write down what we had before, 16 over 3 x to the power of 3 over 2 and minus 3x squared over 2 and um, plus x and minus 12. So there we have the equation f of x. I have to do a bit of integrating then integrating again and not forgetting to find the value of the constants each time we integrate. So forgetting the plus c's or the plus k's like in this last one is something that will really mess up your answer. So there we have finished the whole of the paper of October 2019, um, IAL P1. Thank you for watching.